another morning. Yeah, we're becoming a local uh, Thai traveler here, and we're gonna make it easy for anyone that comes here to Thailand, and we can easily show you how to use the train system here. So it's another cracker morning, 34 degrees Celsius, and we are on our way to another city. Yeah, we live in Bangkok. We live in Bangkok, and we are going to Ayutthaya. And the historical park is this year is 599 years old. It's so, not the oldest thing in Bangkok, but Yep. So we're gonna show you how to get there and how to do things. So actually in a bit. So guys at the MRT switch over at Silong. You're gonna have to go to the ticket office and buy a ticket for Bangsu Station. And thereafter you gotta to proceed to platform number two. So we'll touch base. As you walk past platform four, there's a signage that tells you platform two, and you just head down the escalator for uh, the train here. Yeah, the... And I'm going to show you the information board here. We're on the Pra Ram Nine. Where do we get off? Bangsu. Oh, BL11. Exactly. BL11, and here. Is where you'll get the train now that goes leaves to Ayutthaya. Oh, wow, how's that, guys? So it's quite a ride because we are here. We're going to be traveling all the way up here and make our way down here to Bangsu. So, uh, journey with us as we wait for the <laughs> underground train. So guys, Kuntep Apiwat Central Terminal is the station you'll take to get to Ayutthaya. This is literally like an airport. This is the new station. Wow, look at this place. Yo, it's better than some airports that we've seen. And that's Kuntep. Apiwat Central Terminal. So we need to find a ticket office or a. So, guys, this is a massive train station. Yo, I've never seen a train station like this before. But that's Bangsu Station. We actually exited Bangsu Station, got through that size here where the buses are. Uh, asked one of the, uh, the I think the uh, motorbike drivers there, just to direct us to the train station. Now we are heading to uh, another train station because the ones that's at Bangsu Station actually depart at specific times so the next one is at quarter past three which will, wouldn't give us enough time to be at Ayutthaya so now we have to exit the station short walk across the road to one of the older stations that they have here as you can see we are on the not the underground station now and we're heading towards this train station in order to book our tickets to Ayutthaya so Let's keep journeying and I will fill you in with everything as we go along. Ordinary South African. And just like that guys, you just ask people and you get informed uh, information yeah. and specific direct and we're walking along here trying to find the ticket office. Yeah, and as you can see, a whole lot of streets. Yeah, for locals, tourists. So far, has been absolutely safe to eat anywhere. We eat even in the marketplaces. So, yeah, keep the journey going. If you find out that you cannot make it for the time uh, table of the train at the Bangsu station behind us, which is the Grand Station, when you come out to Gate 12 and you get 
just walk across the road. Don't get scammed by the tuk tuk and the taxi drivers that stay because they will charge you an exorbitant amount of money in order to get to where you need to go. You walk across the road to the new, the old train line here. Yeah? Come all the way through. You'll see the tickets office in the middle of the platform here. Yeah? And as you can see in, in the background, that's the ticket office. And it's just 14 baht per person. It is 7 rand bucks to get to this place. Wow. Can't believe that. And we just stopped at this stall that's here. Coffee pair. We ordered a yogurt strawberry smoothie. It's ordinary South African. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. I have to have the fan on. Sorry about the noise. Mm. This would give anyone a run for their money in a professional shop. It's fresh strawberries and yogurt and ice your What more could you ask for? And just like that, our train arrives. And just like that. Thank you. Thank you. And off we go to Ayutthaya. We will reach there at one o'clock. So yeah, we will touch base. As we go along, and somebody's hungry. to me I saw what we could be gave you my hand to hold didn't think you let go when you lie in your bed and I'm stuck in your head one day when you realize that it's really over one day you wish that you had fought like a soldier over an hour. But today is quite humid. Decided to take a tuk-tuk for the sake of heat. We're heading to Wat Maharat. We don't have a lot planned in uh, Ayutthaya but there's a lot of historical sites here. Guys, 
This is the Wat Mahatat. This place is something, as you can see, there's the ancient written all over this place. Even though it's not that long, yeah. but it seems as if it's like the ancient cities you get all over the world. Hello. And this 150. All. Guys, if you come in here, it's 50 baht per person to enter, and these are the things that you're allowed and not allowed. To. Two, please. A lot of places now. No drones are allowed. It's really old. There was once a temple and there was many here and they used to do uh, worship here and it's been conserved now, this natural form. I think the site is absolutely beautiful, but unfortunately, like if you look around, many of them are not walking around because of the heat. But there are lots of shaded areas. Yeah, but like if you look up there, you can go into most of these areas. This place is absolutely amazing. The heat. Ooh. Camera is just trying to find you all the time. Yeah. You're the only subject that's here. Guys, there's like hundreds of uh, Buddha statues here. Going the on that end because of shade. Worship right? at one stage. And now it's preserved. Wow. This. Look at this. Absolutely incredible. An amazing sight. Today is the day you no, okay. yeah. All being with it. Oh, here's one that's still standing. Where? In front. Oh, yeah. Okay. <sighs> People still come and pay respects, yeah? Yep. Every day, throughout the year. What? 
You have to be willing to bear the heat. You are soaking wet too. They say you gotta, ah. you must try and come here around about 7 a.m. in the morning. Because when it's around midday to the, like, just after lunch, it's brutal. And today is a 34 degree day, so it's it worse than... 34 degree day in Ayutthaya? Or just Bangkok? Bangkok. We're not in Bangkok anymore. It might but be there's a nice, here. But there's a nice breeze here. Uh, only in the shade. <laughs> <laughs> Just imagine what these uh, buildings must have been in their glory days. Eh? <laughs> <laughs> and this leaning tower here. Yeah. I think we need to hydrate. Guys, this is the real model of what the city looks like. Looks nothing like that now. Imagine, half of this is not here anymore. Doesn't even look like this. So, Val, what's the name? <laughs> ah, somebody who cannot make it here in the yeah. heat. <laughs> can tell. Goodness. Is this place hotter than the last? <laughs> it is uh, the furthermost part. So. so guys, what a day it has been. Ayutthaya is not for me. New change of clothes. <laughs> shower number two, there will be a shower number three. Three coming later. So oh. what a day. But we did it all for you guys. <laughs> <laughs> well, no, it was an experience to show that you can do a lot of touring on a budget. It's just that we just showed how an ordinary person it will be able to jump on the trains and do it the local way to get to Ayutthaya. Okay, so I have our tickets with us. This is State Railway Line of Thailand. Now, understand there are air-conditioned options and vehicles, but this is the complete budget option. Just to give you an idea as to how much it'll cost to leave Bangkok for the day. Um, we spent 14 baht a ticket. That is like 7 rand. 50, and yeah. Or 7 rand. Like less than a dollar. Yeah. Less than a dollar for the both of us. And to come back from Ayutthaya, we paid... 20 baht. Can I show it in reverse? Okay, I'll show you the right side. But these are our tickets to come back to Bangsu Station. We paid 20 baht a person. So 40 baht together for the both of yeah. us. 
and that worked out to 20 rand. 20 rand to get <laughs> there okay so the mrt and the bts cost uh we will work that out and tell it to you guys as well it's normally about uh 14 rands yeah it's definitely not more than 50. yeah 14 mm. rand and then 14 rands when you exit yeah so it's 28 rands so you're looking at less than a hundred bucks that's less than ten dollars okay my math is so bad in dollars what would that $5. be it would be five dollars to go out of bangkok see a national monument what's it a unesco world heritage site as you could see from the video it was absolutely beautiful yeah can't take that away but the heat <laughs> i have never felt heat like that in my life like my blood was probably coagulating and if you travel on the obviously uh, the passenger rail the commuter train the commuter train it is scorching hot inside. yep so yeah. to come back we took a rapid that's yeah. why we paid more. so we stood for just over an hour yeah <laughs> but to go it took over two hours because it stopped at different stations but the one to come back is called express not rapid yeah uh, so it took just about an hour yeah but it was an experience we got to ride the, the train and it took to and yeah we took a tuk -tuk ride to the two sites so it but in all honesty if you're not going to put up with heat if you're not going to be able to contend with with direct sunlight scorching you have to use a grab taxi yeah or a private tour yeah company in order to do it but it's gonna charge they you're are still... gonna charge you quite a bit and because this place is really far the up. entry fees for both of us were not too bad 100 baht yeah 50 baht per side yeah so per also person. very cheap um for for it's cheaper for thai for thai people but it's it's worth it because it's not as expensive as entry yeah. fees in bangkok but if and you don't have to carry in a parasol umbrella, they do provide a parasol yeah, you can use that but now we have another story a very quick one on our way back at Saladeng station, MRT. The MRT version, yeah. We had a couple who proclaimed that they are from India and they just arrived from the airport. Okay, so the full story is first they asked for advice on where to have a halal meal, meal. in Ceylon. Yes, and thereafter he says, you know what, they never get a chance to change money, so he wants to know what the Thai money looks like. And then he just takes out his wallet and he like flips through it and he's showing me like hundred dollar bills and we've been to new york we exchanged dollars less than a year ago and we know what hundred dollars looks look like. like and that was a scam it was fake money it was definitely so whoever's fake money. watching okay wait we, we can say we could be wrong but that was much darker than what i know a hundred dollars to look like no also it, the paper wasn't right. also if you just landed in bangkok and you didn't have money There's about 10 currency uh, exchange uh, booths at the airport. But wait, at the train station. How did he get to the MRT exactly. Ceylon line, which is nowhere near? Without even using your uh, changing bar yes. in order for you to pay for your ticket. So basically, he wanted to see the money. Yes. So if we, he saw us like take out from our wallet, he would have offered us a hundred or yeah. two hundred dollars and taken like about. He told us, you know, okay, just give me uh, three thousand baht. You can keep the rest of the, you know. The extra bar and the whole while the that that was happening with him his wife was trying to distract me with having children and how many children yes. i need to have yeah so yeah it was very weird we've not had that experience no, no, but, but we know a scam artist and it felt very scammy because don't bullshit a south african come on come god the bullshitters so. uh yeah we just want to warn people be careful yeah. it's a very weird thing to be approached it's a middle-aged couple so yeah. if ever you see, uh, and they seem very genuine video, if we are wrong i completely apologize yes. but there's no ways that someone just got here from another country and we met them on the mrt line and they haven't seen thai money yeah how did you get they didn't the have suitcases station? so we know they didn't come from the airport yes. either and they're coming with their fake dollars i'm telling you that yeah but anyways yeah that's our eventful day that we had today. <laughs> our so, Ayutthaya adventure. I'm going to say in all honesty that I would have paid, if I wasn't doing this for YouTube, I would have paid a little bit more money and done a little bit more of a luxury trip where you get to go to the sites and jump into an air-conditioned vehicle. I have sweated in places I have never knew I could sweat <laughs> in before. 
it was, it was really bad. It was really bad. Yeah. Yeah, it's it was worse off. Durban, I'm so sorry about complaining about the heat. I'll never do that again. <laughs> yeah, we'll catch up with you. In the next one. Yeah. Bye. Always the same, but when you see me somewhere, 